Tacoma Comics here and this is the first installment of a brand new series I'm doing called Full Run Fridays. Uh, I have an issue as a collector. You may have it too. You may not consider it an issue. I like to get a full run. Um, not a completist in that I don't always have to have every variant, every printing, um, though in the first episode of this uh I called an issue the beginning first episode of this series I will have everything because it's just one that I love but like I really like to have a full run of comics from beginning to end I hate when I've got random ones uh it makes no sense because you could read them digitally and then just collect the covers that you want or the really important ones you could buy them and trade and it's cheaper and then just get a few comics or you could just have boxes and boxes and boxes and boxes and boxes of comics Comics all over your wall and comics everywhere, comics down there, comics over there. You know, you could just, just collect until your room is bursting at the seams and your wife is angry at you. And hopefully some of you, you know, have that issue and understand where I'm coming from. And so this is nothing nothing new to you. You're familiar with, uh, with a full run and what it means to get a full run. So... Um, some of the times I'll be talking about the full runs and, you know, going in depth into the comics. Most times I won't because the full runs uh, could go 30, 40, 50, 100, 150 comics in, in some uh, cases. And if I went into every single issue, that would just bore us to death. So without further ado, uh, episode one of Full, one, full Run Fridays is going to start off with uh, G. Willow Wilson, Adrian Alfana, and Ian Herring doing their uh, take on a brand new character named Miss Marvel Kamala Khan. Uh, this came out in 2014. This was issue one, the first printing, and you'll notice the theme with the signatures here. Uh, they are all signed by G. Willow Wilson. The idea here is that you could put up your, your nose to this and anybody could be Miss Marvel. And there was a promotional poster a little bit larger than this that was given away and the comic book shops that you could do this with as well. So there's issue one. Uh, because later printings came out later, I'm going to show you the variants that came out at the same time as the first printing. Then I'll show you the later printings. This is the one in 10 design variant by Jamie McKelvey, who works often with Kieran Gillen. Uh, and you'll notice, I always thought this is cool that they had like this secret thing in the the wristbands which they never really capitalized on and this is just an early design variant obviously um other than the hair they've kept most of this the red scarf the lightning the, the blue and the red uh so very cool design variant the next two variants were by art adams this is the one in 50 and i do need to get a signature on this that's going to be one of my goals is a signature and maybe a remark by him on this book um at Rose City Comic Con. This is the one in 50 cover. Uh, and then the one in 100, which I do have them both signing, uh, G. Willow Wilson and Art Adams. I actually like this one a lot better, the, the black and white uh, right there is the one in 100. And then issue one was so popular that it went to a number of printings. There is the second print, the third print, The fourth print, right? Fourth printing, yep. And now they don't call this next one the fifth printing. I believe they call this the fourth printing. Um, it doesn't actually say down there, uh, and the numbers are all screwed up. They call this the fourth printing sketch variant. So in other words, technically they refer to this as a sketch variant of this one. Um, I'm not exactly sure why or what the difference is. It's just a little bit of trivia when you're talking about um, Miss Marvel. Uh, this, however, is the sixth printing. All right, so even though they, they don't have a fifth printing, they have a fourth, a fourth sketch, and a sixth. Why not just call the fourth sketch print um, a fifth printing? I don't know. This is the seventh, which I think is my favorite. And then the eighth is the, uh, ooh, 
is the true believers. Now, if you want to get really, really, really picky, I like to get picky. Um, the barcode on the true believers is not the same number as the barcode on uh, the rest of them. So I don't consider it an eighth printing. I don't consider it part of the series because sometimes we make rules to to limit ourselves, right? All right. Uh, here is, sorry, this is backwards. Second printing, no, sorry, issue two. First printing, issue two, second printing. So you can see they were not expecting this comic to do as well. And then they had all these extra printings going up. This was the one in 50 at issue two. Um, this is very hard to get. This is Jorge Molina. I sh did not have this book when I met him, so I have not gotten it signed by the artist. But this cover is just very, very low print, very hard to get. Um, and there it's signed by G. Willow Wilson, as so many of them are. And there is the third and the fourth, sorry about the glare, and the fourth printing of issue two. Issue three, issue three, second printing. I love the blue banner that they did for quite a while um, in the mid to and early teens at Marvel. Very cool. Uh, here's a variant to issue three. I'm not sure who did this variant. Is this Babs Tar? Um, it's possible. She did a lot of them. Um, but I just love that idea of like stuffing your uh, superhero stuff in your locker and trying to be a normal student, kind of very Peter Parker esque. This whole series gave me Peter Parker vibes, and I don't mean that in uh, in a copycat sort of way, just in a like, you know, a very fresh take on it, and I really kind of love that about this. It's, I think what attracted me to it the most is that it was like, ooh, Peter Parker-esque. There is the third printing of issue three. So issue three went to three printings. Issue four went to two printings. Issue five. Very iconic cover. Right, this is the movie poster um, cover. Issue five went to two printings. And then the last issue that went to more than one printing was issue six. Another great classic cover. Boom. Here is a Guardians of the Galaxy variant to issue six. I hate variants that don't actually contain the character or the team that the book is about. I normally wouldn't get that, except with this particular one, I was a completist. Um, I put out a video earlier today about the Fallen Friend issue that came out memorializing the death of Miss Marvel, as short-lived as that might be. And I referenced this issue where she and Wolby went through the sewers um, fighting Killer Crocs. Seven and eight. Nine and ten. If you're going to be an inhuman, you might as well have an inhuman pet, even if that doesn't last forever. 11 and 12, Loki tries to break up the Valentine's Day dance because he's a day. 13 and 14, this again is one of my favorite covers here. Who am I? Am I Kamala Khan, student and young Muslim girl in New Jersey trying to figure life out? Or am I superhero extraordinaire or somewhere in between or both? Who says you can't be both, right? Um, this is a variant to a variant to issue nine. It does not belong way back here. Oh, I see. I put two variants together. So um, this is uh, Secret Wars four, I think, homage. And again, like Miss Marvel's not on the cover, so why do that? I don't know. But then check out the Woman of Power variant. To issue 13. Now that I love. That I absolutely love. I should probably put that on the front um, rather than issue 9. This one, sorry, there's uh, the What the Duck. Again, they had all these Howard the Duck variants. That's issue 14 variant. But this one right here, you do have Miss Marvel. Um, beautiful scene that just reminds me of New York City, even if it's not, it totally reminds me of New York City. And I absolutely love this cover. I just think that's gorgeous. And again, signed by G. Willow Wilson. 
getting towards the end now. Issue 15. Issue 16. Seventeen, and then you know, eighteen, and this uh, again, these classic covers of just teen angst. Bruno wants a relationship with Kamala. Kamala is thinking about being a superhero on the Avengers. Problems of being a teenager, right? It's difficult. Um, this is another nice variant for eighteen. Again, I got G Willow Wilson to sign this one, and then finally. The Last Days of Miss Marvel, issue 19. And what really, really bothers me is the Kirby Monster variant. Why? 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 If you really want to be a completist with this sort of stuff, and, you know, I'm not saying you do, there was the preview um, book that had the first Kamala Khan in preview. And then I've got all new Marvel Now point one over there on the wall as well. All right, so thank you. Full Run Friday. If you guys like this, I'll do plenty more because I have plenty more um, complete runs with books. So thanks for watching. Drop a comment if you've got anything you'd like to say. Peace.